<laughs> okay. So I got gloves on. I never, ever wear gloves. That's not because, you know, I'm cool or anything. That's just because I never think about wearing gloves until it's like too late. I'm like, oh, I should have worn gloves. But I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. Oh yeah. Okay, there's one screw. If you watch the unboxing video of this, you will know how gross this is. And if you have the same morbid curiosity that I do, you were wondering, how gross is it under the top? And if you're a normal human being, you don't care about these things. You're just curious why I'm spending my time doing this. And I don't have a good answer for that, to be quite frank. Oh, that's gross. that. Doesn't that just scream promises of quality? Yeah, that is filthy. I think that, like, the only cameras I've gotten that have ever looked this bad, like me personally, I've seen cameras that look this bad all the time, but like, that I've bought have been Canonettes. It's just been this and then the other one that I think I made a video about. If I didn't, if I did make a video about it, I will post it put it right there. If I didn't, oh, it's disgusting. Not as bad as this. So this definitely, this takes the cake. Oh God. Oh! Okay, you can't see this on that side, but look at that. Oh my God. That is disgusting. Oh my, oh my God. God, look at that. It looks like a Pollock painting in here. Like a teenager's bedroom. Oh, this is gross. Oh, that is so nasty. Oh my God. Oh, it is just caked. Absolutely caked. Oh Lord, look at all of that. Oh, what even is that? There's like, there's rust in here and Mold? How does that even happen? Oh my god. That is amazing. Oh my, oh there's the needle. Let's see if that even moves at all. Oh my god, oh, oh it's crusty. It's like a barnacle in here. This legitimately looks like it was submerged in water. It's nasty. And I think I had the wherewithal to take the battery out of the bottom here earlier. Because I remember seeing that and that was disgusting. I will say, putting gloves on was a good call. This is just gross. Oh. Shout out to my mom who literally yesterday texted me. So do you like wash your hands after you handle all those dirty cameras? Literally got that text from me yesterday. It's like, oh yeah, of course mom. And like, I just, I nuke them in, in chemicals to make sure that they're even cleaner, you know, vinegar and alcohol and lighter, all sorts of stuff. I just make sure that they're very clean. Oh my God. But there's just not enough cleaning liquids in the world to get this guy back to normal. Okay, this is gonna be a remarkable experience, so. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, oh, it's just like, oh, it's just falling out. Oh, 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 it's, there's, there's so much buildup in here. Sorry, I'm just adjusting stuff. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. I think I might actually move this entirely. Just so you can get a better perspective of what we're, what we're dealing with here. That is, okay, that's actually just sand. Yeah, so this has definitely been in some body of water. And typically you find these when they come from like Florida. But this is from, uh, I think it was Maryland, Maryland. Oh, there's so much I'd rather be doing right now. Oh, uh. Uh, uh, you know it's a bad sign when there's rust on the battery. Wonder if there still has any charge left to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah this, look at that. Even the plastic has rust on it. That is just amazing to me. So what we're gonna do now is literally get the only useful part out of this. Um, I'm not gonna outright say that every component of this camera is useless, because I'm sure there's probably some functioning bits to it. But I think it's also safe to assume that this is not gonna be a fantastic parts camera. Just the amount of effort that it would take to get this even remotely clean, uh, probably not worth it because it still won't work. So what I'm gonna try and do, oh yes, oh. God, that's a good feeling. That is like top 10 best feelings in the world right there. Uh, and you were able to get this little ring out. Oh my goodness. You know what, I would take a camera that looks doubly as bad as this with a ring as easy as that was to remove. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh. Okay. This is the dumbest tool, because it was like, I spent like 30 bucks on it. It's by far my most expensive tool, and that's not counting my soldering iron. My soldering iron was only like 50, I want to say. But, oh yeah. And it never really works. Like, the spanner wrench, I hardly ever use it. I, I literally bought it so I could get this ring out, and then I found out that these scissors like, actually work so much better than the, the spanner does. Okay. Come on. Please just come out. Yes. Okay, so when I was looking at the listing for this camera, it's like, I think that's a clean front element. And that's the only reason that I bought this, was for this element, and it is not very clean. Damn it. I might be able to salvage this but it is definitely not as clean as I would have liked it to be. The rest of this camera looks like absolute dog ass. Like, oh, this is just disgusting. We're gonna take this next element out. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of weird doing this in gloves. It feels a lot less tactile than I'm used to. But again, I'm very glad I'm doing this in gloves. Because this is just the nastiest. Oh yeah, there's definitely sand in there. Look at this element. All that, that grit and that sand, that's special. My cat is trying to claw her way in. Yeah, I think for the sake of sleeping tonight without any nightmares and in the interest of not disgusting everybody more than they already have been, I'm probably gonna call it a night with this. 
There's really not much else. Oh, that doesn't even move. Oh, that is amazing. This lens is just locked in. I didn't even try that. I didn't even waste my time trying to test that out. That is hilarious. It makes sense though that it would be, I guess. Huh. I've never seen that. Typically there's at least a little bit of play. But no, this is just... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I hear you. I'll let you in in a moment. Anyway, I think that's going to probably do it for right now. Pros and cons. Can't think of any pros at the moment. The, they are failing me. But I guess, you know, some of these parts I could clean off. Like, this top isn't terrible. The glass isn't good. But the top doesn't have any, like, major dents. There's no rust eating away at the bodywork. I got this little name badge, which is always good. The blades look in relatively good shape. I could salvage that. The bottom, potentially. There's good stuff here. Like, there is stuff that, you know, maybe even if I can get that front glass cleaned, then I definitely get another can net out of this whole situation. So I would say overall, you know, it's not great. It's actually quite horrendous. But for 10 bucks, like, this is definitely like, if you're looking for a camera and you're like, oh, I'll go on eBay and I'll, I'll, I'll type in four parts, you know, and I'll get something off of that. If you if you wanna buy a camera, go buy a camera. Don't go peruse in just the, the armpit of eBay like I do, cause this is what you end up finding. This is a cautionary tale. This is the, <laughs> just, bottom of the ocean kind of camera that you're gonna get. This is the briniest thing I've ever seen. It, it, it has a distinct mold scent to it. I need to just throw this away after I get all the parts that I need off of it. If you don't ever wanna watch my videos again, I, <laughs> I promise I will never record anything this gross again. This is, this is so laughably bad, I had to show it. So I hope that you can understand that. But if not, it was nice having you and I appreciate your time. That's my neighbor talking. All right, so thank you again. And uh, yeah, sorry, catch you on the next one.